Hello all. Welcome to part 28 of JavaScript for beginners series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to implement polymorphism in JavaScript. So let's get started. What is polymorphism? What is polymorphism? If I break this polymorphism into two words, it will become poly and other word will become morphism. Poly means many guys. Okay, if you convert this poly into English, it will become many. Morphism means forms, multiple forms or say single thing having multiple forms. That is polymorphism. Okay, single thing having multiple forms is known as polymorphism. So if you take any programming language like Java, polymorphism that is having multiple forms is possible via two things. That is in case of programming language like Java, polymorphism is possible via two things. One is method overloading. In the last session I explained right, method overloading is not possible in JavaScript, okay? And also method overriding. There are two things, guys, okay? Polymorphism in Java kind of programming language is possible via method overloading and method overriding. But coming to JavaScript, guys, but coming to JavaScript, this uh, single thing having many forms, that is single method having many forms is possible only via method overriding. Okay, only method overriding guys, okay? In JavaScript, it is only via method overriding this polymorphism is possible, whereas method overloading is not supported in JavaScript as explained in the previous session, okay? But what is this method overloading, overriding then? What exactly is this method overriding then? I'll explain, okay? So here, in one of the previous sessions, I explained a concept of inheritance, right? If a child class inherits the properties from a parent class, then, okay, that is called as inheritance, we said, okay? Inheritance in simple terms is nothing but a class inheriting the properties of other class, okay? A child class inheriting the properties of the parent class is nothing but inheritance, fine. So in order to achieve this method overriding, Okay, method overriding is only possible via inheritance, guys. Okay, is only possible via inheritance. How? I'll explain. Let's say there is a method in parent class. Let's say there is a method known as M1 in parent class. The same method if you create in the child class. Okay, the same method, right? Is there also in the child class? Then this method in the child class is said to override this method in the parent class. Okay. The method having the same name in the child class is said to override the method having the same name in the parent class. That is called as simple guys. That is called as method overriding, which is possible in JavaScript, whereas overloading is not possible in JavaScript. Now let's move to the practical mode, guys, where I will open this Visual Studio Code ID and create a sample JavaScript file, say demo.js. Inside this JavaScript file, I'll create a class. Say class class A. Okay, class A I'll create. I'll create one more class guys, class, class B. Now I'll make this class B a child class of this parent class. Okay, how? How can I make this class B as a child of this class A? I have to use keyword known as extends class, extends class A like this, okay? Now this has become the child class of the class A class. Okay, fine. Now if in case, this class B is now the child class of the parent class class A. In that case, if you have a method, let's say M1 in the parent class, and here I'll write console dot log of inside inside parent class. Okay, I'll just print out inside parent class. Okay, inside M1 method of parent class. Here also I'll create the same method. I'll create the same method, guys. Okay, I'll create the I'll copy paste if you want. Okay. I just copy pasted the same M1 method from the parent class to the child class, guys. Here I'll change the text a bit. Inside child class, I'll print. Simple. Okay. Now, in this case, guys, in this case, the class B is inheriting the properties from the parent class, right? Class B is a child class of the class A, but class B is inheriting the properties because it is a child of the parent class. That means this M1 will also will be part of the class B. Not only this M1, guys, class B has both the things. Okay, two M1 methods are there in the class B now. One is this method, other one is 
this one from the parent class okay this one is inherited by the child class whereas this is its own class b's method so in this case when the class b has a two possibilities of the same method okay one because of the inheritance and one because of its own method it has two possibilities of having the same method multiple forms are there in that case if you create an object for the class b let's say if i create an object for the class b like this and give some object reference using this object reference if i if i using this object reference if i call m1 method which method will be called whether the method that is there in the class b will be called or the method that is being inherited by the class b from the parent class the same name right m1 is being inherited by the child class from the parent class will that method will be called which method in this case guys the method which is there in the child class will be called not the inherited method why this method overrides this method okay that's why we are calling this as overriding as method overriding when you have the same method in the child class which is of the same name of the parent class in that case the method in the child class is said to override the method in the parent class that means when you create this kind of object and using the object reference if you call that method the method that is there in the child class which is overriding the same method in the parent class will be called that means this method in the child class will be called right out of two possibilities the method that is there in the child class which is overriding the same method in the parent class will be called that means this method will be called now let's run this you'll see inside child class should be printed for us guys so when i run this code inside child class should be printed for us so let's wait uh, here i'll write node demo dot js i'll run this uh, javascript file using node.js you see inside child class is getting printed that means the override and method overridden method inside the child class is called guys okay so hope guys you understood what is polymorphism and uh, how polymorphism can be achieved in javascript only via overriding guys overloading is not possible in javascript polymorphism in javascript is only possible via overriding and now you understood what is overriding also when the child class method is having the same name as a parent class okay both are same in that case the method in the child class is said to override the method in the parent class and when you try to access by creating an object for the child class the method in the child class will be called that is called as overriding in simple terms so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye